Well, we've certainly seen the breakdown in the heat wave across particularly England and Wales in the last 24 hours. Plenty of showers, thunderstorms, flood and rainfall in even central London. And uh, we wave goodbye to the heat wave, which I'm sure many people will be glad of. That being said, however, we are seeing a warmer day today. Cool day yesterday, even across the southeast with the showers and thunderstorms. Feeling quite humid, of course. But, uh, you know, with a, a d deep area of low pressure up towards Iceland, as you can see here, frontal system moving eastwards. Ahead of that front, we've seen temperatures rising into the even the high 20s. This is the uh, temperatures as of recording um, this afternoon, fresh across the northwest, warm across the southeast. But thanks for clicking on to the Thursday edition of Hogan's European Outlook. As you can see here, a deep area of low pressure uh, near Iceland. We're back in an Atlantic-driven weather pattern once again, and it's not one but a few systems that will uh, sweep across the British Isles over the next few days, through the weekend, and on in the next week. And then the question mark is, what happens after that? But uh, you can see here, this is the <coughs> general setup here on the pressure chart of GFS. And you can see here that uh, we've got that deep area of low pressure up towards Iceland. Fairly windy conditions I've noticed here in Invergordon and the Inverness area. Winds have been uh, picking up through the afternoon. And, uh, you know, we're seeing uh, that warmer ahead of the system moving in off France. Plenty of disturbed weather, as you can see here, across parts of the Alps, southern France, and over the Pyrenees as well on the uh, France-Spain uh, border. And as we play through the next several days here, you can see that area of low pressure um, continuing to spin away, keeping things fairly wet, windy and showery across the northwest. And then we've got a feature that moves in during the course of Saturday, as you can see here, bringing more wind and rain across particularly the northern half of the British Isles and then it's all eyes on the system that comes in during the latter half of Sunday here enhancing more shower uh, possible thunderstorm activity from the west here so a fairly unstable fairly unsettled pattern and something we haven't been speaking about for for quite some time is the jet stream we are seeing a big um uptick in jet stream winds now nothing like winter but uh, certainly that has not been mentioned much in recent times actually you know the summer forecast is actually one of two things we've got the summer forecast that i release at the beginning of the summer and speak about the june july august period i think june and july played out not too bad june was the best month july i lost a couple of marks with a couple of details uh, and August has been a bust, so to speak, because I thought it would have been cooler and wetter during the month of August, and that has certainly not been the case. But the, the secondary phase of forecast and long-range forecasting is my monthly outlooks, and I think the monthly outlooks have been pretty decent, actually. And, you know, at the, the, the very end of July, I forecasted that we would see um, a, a relatively unsettled start to the month of August, then we would see a settled hot spell, prolonged spell of warmer conditions, more so than even what we've seen in July. It, you know, temperatures were not as extreme as July. You know, they capped off at 34, but we had four straight days of 34 Celsius. I think the highest temperature was 34.9 at Charlwood in Surrey. And um, then we, I mentioned the fact that we would see the heat wave break down, we would have an area of low pressure that moves east, opens the door to Arctic air. We've seen that taking place, cold 850s, and then, of course, clear skies, light winds translated that cold air down to the surface. We've seen surface temperatures of uh, around the freezing mark in a few sheltered glens in the highlands. Then, of course, as the next system of the Atlantic uh, approaches, we see uh, uh, an uptick in temperatures ahead of that boundary. We're going to see a slight decrease in temperature over the next couple of days. And then, of course, it's all eyes on next week as to what takes place. But the jet stream, with the contrast between low pressure, a fairly deep area of low pressure up towards Iceland, we've got a, a 1028 high um, associated with the Azores high. And then in between, we've got jet stream winds fairly strong through the time of the year. So we are going to see a spell of wind, rain, shower activity uh, over the next several days here as you can see here the jet stream fairly flat in nature but notice that little speed max coming off 
uh, to the south of of, uh, of Greenland here. So we have a fairly unsettled theme and that jet stream uh, core of winds in excess of 100 miles an hour will cross over Ireland and over parts of England and Wales during the course of Sunday into Monday. So we maintain that unsettled theme. But what I want to show you here is the forecast that I had out was based on the Madden Julian oscillation. So this goes back to the early portion of August here when I made mention of the fact that we would have a prolonged spell of hot, dry, settled weather. The reason why I said that was because the MJO was indicating large scale rise, uh, sinking air, should I say, sorry, sinking air over our region of the world that would then tend to attract high pressure and of course with all the dry ground over France and over the UK we would then see a lot of heat especially if you can get the pressure pattern just right opens the door to some of that heat core off France into the UK we've seen that taking place day after day we had over a week of 30 Celsius somewhere in the UK every single day and of course we've seen 30 even up into Scotland as well generally speaking it's been more unsettled the further north and the, the northwest you go across the UK. We've seen the downward trend in pressure, low pressure, and the Atlantic becoming a lot more dominant once again. That is the case at the moment, but I would expect to see into next week warmer conditions returning, but nothing on par. It won't be in the, the category of heat wave. The question is, how long does it last? If we do start to see higher pressure and warmer weather coming back into the UK for the very last part of the summer, the question is, how long will it last? Now, if you notice here, off the this is off the GFS, and you notice here that we've got large-scale sinking, even for the UK, if you notice here, the North Atlantic and, and North America. But as we press through this pattern, you, the sequence here, you notice that we're starting to pick up more greens or neutral over the UK. So, of course, if you don't already know, this is the British Isles here, Greenland, Iceland, Canada, the United States. But notice here, as we play towards the end of August, we're starting to see greens representing upward motion. So, therefore, it would make me suggest that any kind of warm weather doesn't necessarily hold for any length of time. It's not going to be a prolonged spell like a week to 10 days of solid warmth. I think it will come, but it will be restricted, and it may be a case of it's kind of fleeting. It's back and forth between you know, unsettled and settled. So, in, in other words, the Atlantic becomes a little bit more involved when you're ahead of a system. You get that warmer coming up from the south or the southwest. The system pushes through with wind, rain, cooler conditions on the back side of that, more unsettled. And I think the Madden Julian oscillation has more of that type of theme going uh, into the, the latter half of, of August here. It might be wrong, by the way. This is the GFS. This is the operational. So this is one run. Um, so it's going to be interesting to see what happens. I also haven't mentioned, and I keep forgetting to mention this when I'm doing my videos, is that these this upward motion over the Atlantic tends to favour more Atlantic tropical activity. So you're looking at the, the main development region of the Atlantic between Africa and the Caribbean. And when you've got this upward motion now starting to show up and the, the Atlantic is more, um, more of an incubator for tropical cyclones, we need to keep an eye on. So basically the Atlantic has been extremely quiet up until now the, the overall tropical cyclones within within the global oceans has been very quiet. It's been a very quiet tropical cyclone season uh, globally, but you would expect to see the Atlantic start to pick up in terms of tropical activity. And that, by the way, can also affect our weather as well, even if it's indirectly, because you start getting uh, cyclones developing over the, the open Atlantic. They're moving westwards. <coughs> that release of heat potentially northwards can lead to warm dry weather across the UK but it also can enhance unsettled weather across the UK as well so this is a twofold thing that we need to keep an eye on unsettled conditions across the UK but also keeping an eye on the tropics because that could become more of a player not just in the low latitudes but also across 
the middle latitudes in our portion of the world. So I think overall August has been not too bad. Relatively unsettled start, warm, dry middle portion of the month that lasted longer and less extreme as the, the July version. But of course, I'm talking about less extreme in terms of the actual air temperature, the 38 to 40 Celsius that was seen. Temperatures were, it were this the heat wave in August was probably actually worse than the July version because it was a, a prolonged period of warmth longer than what we've seen during the month of July. So it's, it's, it depends on how you look at it, really. But certainly uh, this downward trend at the moment was predicted that we would see a, a surge of colder air coming in. It would trim back the temperatures from low 30s to low 20s, so 10 degree difference. I expect to see over the next, you know, end of the new work week, temperatures come back up again, better weather. But, you know, with this man, Julian oscillation indicating upward motion, it'll be interesting to see what takes place here. And the month of September is going to be very interesting because the CFSV2 is predicting a wetter than normal UK and Europe. So we'll watch this space. Uh, so, yeah, so that's it for today. Thanks for watching. I do appreciate it. As always, please like, share and subscribe to the channel. And I will hopefully be back again tomorrow with more. Bye for now.